guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, I'm starting, uh, don't look at my hands. I've been really busy working on these and a few other things this weekend, but I just wanted to put, put a little intro into this video, um, letting, letting you see some of the dyes, um, the eco printing that I've done. I'm gonna go ahead and just tear those like that while they're still wet because um, that's okay. Some of them are kind of cool, others not so much. But just, oh, and this one's like my favorite right here. Actually, let's go ahead and rip that right here because I just, I love this one. This is actually my favorite. So I'm not pleased, too pleased with any of them too much. Um, I did get some good printing though. Look at this one. This is kind of cool. But um, it was, uh, it was a quite the process. So just go ahead and take a look at the process and see if it's something you might want to do. Uh, you might want to change it up your own way, kind of like I did. Um, just, you know, to, uh, I don't know, make it work for you. Um, I, I, I'm not, I'm not loving the outcome, but I am, I loved the process. I thought it was a lot of fun and I think I've learned a lot. So, uh, anyway, so without further delay, let's just go ahead and get started and you can watch my process. Uh, and uh, hopefully, maybe you'll ha maybe you have some um, from tidbits for me in the comments to help me do it better next time. But anyway, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys do too, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I just want to show you this. Um, I'm going to add it to the video so that you can see what I am using for my rust. I'm using an actual um, charm and chime actually and I bought this chime in Sedona, Arizona about 35 years ago and when I got it it was blue so it is really rusty so I'm just going to soak this all in some water and hope that that gives me the rust solution that I need. Now I don't know if I need to add white vinegar to it or not but if I do I will and I'll let you Isn't know. This is beautiful. Guys, I found California poppies. I'm so excited. And I found lupin. This is lupin right here. No, no. This one is the lupin. And this is the California poppy. Those were the things I really wanted to get in here. I think this is like a lavender or some kind of a sage. Hold on. I think it's a lavender. I'm not positive. And this is white oleander. Or oleander. And I don't know what these are, but I found them over by Target. And I picked them because they were so pretty and and purple and dark and deep and I figured that they would really put off a nice color and then just other leaves that I have no idea what they are but what I've done now is that to prepare them I did nothing all I did was put them on this sheet pan and I'm putting the sheet pan in the oven because I'm not doing this tonight I'm just preparing things but I don't want my cats to get a hold of these and if anything's toxic so I wanted to be very careful oh and while I'm talking about it I also have a bag right here with wisteria um, blooms that fell off of a tree at work. So this is what we're going to be using um, in our eco dyeing. And so I'm going to try to put all of this together, but I'm trying to prepare the day before. Um, so I've got this ready. I've got the um, rust soaking outside, and so this is going to go in the oven. Not to bake or anything, just to be safe and sound and covered away from that little rascal right there. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so it's actually been a couple of days. These have been in the um, the oven, but, you know, they are a little dried up. Uh, not too bad. They still have some pliability to them. They're still sort of soft. Oh, I love those. I, I can't wait to see how those turn out. And these, I'm just curious how this whole California foliage will turn out. The only thing I'm kind of missing here that I really wanted to do was some mustard because um, it's so wild right now, but I think uh, next time. So we've got the flowers. It has been a couple of days, and the rust water that I created turned out great. So here's the rust water that I created, and what I ended up doing was just dumping a little tiny bit of uh, white vinegar in here so that it would rust it up. Because I looked at it, at it after a couple hours and there was really no movement. So I don't know if it's because I added some white vinegar or not, but I did and I think it's acidic, so I think it helped it uh, uh, retain or loosen up the rust on there and make some really nice rust water for us to use. 
So, um, before I get started, I want to talk about all of the different, well, I'm not going to talk about them in, in, I'm just going to mention the different, um, ways that I saw people doing this online. I've seen them steaming. I've seen them rolling. I've seen them, um, just doing all different kinds of ways. I've seen them do it with felt. I've seen them do it with cotton. I, I watched a few videos and I'm gleaning a, my, this particular way from all of the videos that I watched because... You know, when you watch videos, you're like, ugh, I don't want to do that. And ugh, I want to, I, I love the way she did that, but I don't like the way she did that. And I love the way she did that, but I don't really have the time to do that. So this is going to be my interpretation of the whole nine yards. So, okay. So I want to mention a couple of different, um, obviously some websites though. I want to mention, obviously, Rosemary Morris. Hello. She is the queen of eco-dyeing. So she's got a wonderful, um... Uh, YouTube channel with her eco dyeing, which is great. Most of this came from her. Oh, there's Gracie. Get down. I don't want her on this. No, honey, no. Oh, sorry, hold on, you guys, because I don't know if these are. I know that white oleander is poisonous because of the movie, but I don't know what it does to cats. Anyway, so obviously Rosemary Morris, and there's a couple others that I watched, and one in particular was called. It's on Woodlands TV, and the woman's name was Mo, and she had a bunch of kids like at a summer camp, and they wrapped cotton and made eco print on cotton and oh, I'm gonna do that it looks so much fun and she just looks like a lovely person and the kids had such a great time and the, the way they they were outside the environment was cool so it's like okay I, I love that one so there's Woodlands TV um, so look up eco eco print on Woodland Woodlands TV and then um, another one was Ansha Jones she was great. She's the one who did it on felt, and I thought she was awesome. And then Sanja M, she did some rolls she, where she rolled it around sticks, and I, I have my stick, and I plan on doing that. So, um, but maybe not today. I'm not sure. I might throw one or two in there. So don't don't be surprised if I do um, around some cotton because I just thought that was so cool. So we might do that today. Not sure. So those are the websites that I'd like to mention. Um, there's many more out there, but not as many as you'd think. So that's why I don't feel too bad about doing this video. Okay, so how I'm going to do it today is I've got my watercolor paper and I got, I had big sheets of it that I was using for another project. So I just ripped them up and they don't, none of them are the same size. I don't care. You know me, I don't care. I'm not a perfectionist. So this is some good quality, um, good quality. I had the sticker. Oh. Good quality water paper, watercolor paper. Here, let me see if I can, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. This is a Strathmore, but it doesn't tell you, cold press. I think I read that the hot press is better because the cold press has um, more bumps, so not sure, but that's just something I heard. I don't know anything about it, but I'm using Strathwatt cold press today. And like I showed in my video, I put some um, old rusty bits in here that I've had laying around. Uh, so happy that I found some because it was almost, I tried looking on the outside for anybody to give me some, but I couldn't find any anywhere. So I, have, I had my own. So look in your house first to see what you might have. You'll be surprised. And then I made some rusty water. And then you're going to need white vinegar and a big tub. And I bought a great big tub at the thrift store. I think it was like $5. It's a tamale pot, you guys. It's real thin. But again, it's what I had, and I'm glad I have it because, um, well, it's what I'm going to use. So what I'm going to start with first off <clears throat> is I'm going to take my watercolor paper and fold it in half because, <clears throat> well, because I want to put the put it here and put it here. Okay, you know, and then fold it, and then we'll do another one. You know, I'm not going to do too many. Um, but I do want to do that. And I'm also going to spray my water, my watercolor paper because I think it'll make it more pliable just to skip right out the gate with some, woo, vinegar. <laughs> so yeah, so vinegar, vinegar water. Um, there was like this much vinegar in here or water in here and like that much vinegar. So not much because I'm saving the rest of the vinegar to add to the pot. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my flowers in the rust water because Mo on um, woodlandstv.com, uh, I think that's it. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below. I really want to find the link because I want to rewatch it just because I loved it so much. But um, 
<clears throat> she said if you put it in the rust water first and then put it on the paper, the rust water will help the tannins come out and adhere to the paper better. So let's get started. And the first one we're going to do is just some of these big green leaves here. So let's just get started with some of these green leaves. I don't want the stems because you can't roll the stems very well. So let's just cut those off. See how unprepared I am, you guys, but that's okay. That's okay. Give me time to chat with you a little bit. Nice stick there. Throw that that way. Okay, so I'm going to dip this in the, um, in the rusty water. And also, Mo said that the most tannin that you'll get will come out of the back of the leaf. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to put them, and also she said put them um, both ways. So up and down, up and down. So let's just do that. Up and down, up and down. You know, front and back, front and back. So, okay. So let's grab, just, I want to do an all this color, I think. Let's see. Up, down. I'm just trying to see. Look at that. It's already turning dark. Maybe I should rinse these leaves off. I don't know. We shall see. And then let's shove a little tiny one on here. A couple of little tiny ones. Just to see. Do I have another little tiny one? Well, this is tiny enough. Okay. There, like so. Perfect. Okay. And then we just take it and... Just for kicks and grins, put a little bit more of that rusty water on there and then just press it. Okay? Give it a nice press. Nice and firm. Oh, I was looking at my nails. I'm wondering, did they turn dark from that? But they didn't. Okay, and then we're going to grab another watercolor paper and fold it in half. Now, you could put some on here. I think I, you know, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Let's do that. that get more bang for the buck, you guys. Let's do it, shall we? All right, this one, I want to use some of this, which is, I believe it's a lavender, but I'm not positive. So let's dip that in the rusty water and place that on here. And then just put some of the leaves. Oh, these leaves are awesome. Oh, I think I'm just going to pull them off and like so. Guys, I've been wanting to do this for so long. So, so long. And now we are. And now we are. So that's cool. Actually, I'm going to put this in the middle. Like so. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably overdoing it on the leaves here, but hey, that's okay. I think I want to, I think I want to do that. Get a good print going. There we go. That's fun. Okay. All right. And then we will put this. Now I want to spray this with a little bit of. Just to make it. Yeah. Put that down there. All right. So let's roll with some of these poppies now. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. Stay well. Poppies don't fall off the branches. Of course they did. That's okay. That's okay, because we can just do this. We can just do that. Ooh, look at the yellow coming out already. Let's see, I like these stems, but let's cut a couple of them off, maybe. There we go. Let's get some more. So then I'm going to cook this for about an hour and then I'm going to let them kind of sit and steam for a minute. And that's all I want on that page. Okay, and we'll just go like so. Oh, I have more poppies. You guys. I think I'll save those to make some color on another page. Okay, that's good. All right, let's fold this one in half. Look at how crooked that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm really careful. Not. 
I'm not very careful. All right, let's see what these things do. These are White Oleander. I hope I'm not going to die. Did you guys ever see the movie White Oleander? With, uh, uh, oh, gosh. What's her name? Help me out here, you guys. Michelle Pfeiffer. You know, anything Michelle Pfeiffer does, I'm in. I am in like Flynn. I love Michelle Pfeiffer. I just really do. She's awesome. She just, I love her in What Lies Beneath. She just does some really cute, um, cute. <laughs> I don't think What Lies Beneath was cute, but she just does some really fun. Fun? Okay, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this. So I should just not even talk movies right now, right, guys? Oh, I didn't dip these. Do over. I wonder if I would do that. You gotta dip them in the. You gotta dip dip them in the rust. You gotta dip them in the rust. Maybe even soaking them for a while would be a good idea. I don't know. So we shall see. This is just just a. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's got a little Asian vibe to it, to it in my opinion. Okay, let's put that down. Okay, let's go with some of the lupin. Wow, look at that rust is, is doing to my fingers. I should probably dab that up, but ah, it's okay. All right, here's the lupin. Oh, and I have some, um, I have some, uh, what do you call it? And there's just some regular leaves. This would be pretty with the lupin, right? These come off the wisteria plant. I have some wisteria uh, floral uh, pieces. So we'll put that in there. Just something simple. My hands are gonna get this all dirty, so I feel like I should wash my hands a bit after every, or maybe use a washcloth. This has some paint on it. Let's just see what happens with the paint. <laughs> <clears throat> this is let's make a mess today, after all. Now I wonder if this rest water will stay well, cause I don't like it's like ugh, really to make it was like oh okay. This can go on the bottom. We'll put this on the bottom of this stack. Okay. What shall we? Let's do these red leaves. Put them in the water. Put some red in. Not all of them. Maybe just a few and save a couple. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, you guys, I'm still waiting for my new laptop and I'm still waiting. Oh, I don't like this. I'm still waiting for, <clears throat> you know, a few things to happen here. So the videos are still kind of funky right now, but we'll get better. I'm still waiting for things to happen. So bear with me as we, as we learn, as we wait, wait and learn. Okay, that looks cute. filler in there here this is the I believe this is lavender I could be wrong okay <clears throat> so let's close that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the bottom <clears throat> because it's bigger or do I have to no let's just leave it <clears throat> it's fine 
No, I think we should because, and I didn't put anything in the middle there, but that's okay. So let's do this. Let's put something in the middle here. Okay, what do we got? Let's just do some more. Let's do another one of these. Um, Lupin. Oh, dip. I think it's a good idea to put probably to put everything in the dipping first. Just in case you forget. Oh, here's some cool leaves. Oh, I like these leaves too. And of course I have eucalyptus leaves around me, but I don't and have not um, picked any. Um, I, I can't really be outside much right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill myself even. I started walking again. It's like, oh, what am I trying to do here? Make myself sick again, but. <clears throat> but, uh, so we're gonna do, this is like a Southern California. Um, Southern California. Oh, we have to use the wisteria. This is gonna be like the Southern California print, eco print, and then we'll do Southern Oregon too, you guys. Look at that dart coming out of there. I wonder if, what that is. Well, it's the rust, obviously. So let's put something on here. Look at these cool leaves. These are neat. I think these are just big from the um, from the um, white oleander. So. Here's a kind of a funky one. Let's use it. Funky is good. We like funky. This is just leaves. There we go. All right, let's stick this on top of that. My <laughs> dirty little mitts. I should put all over here maybe, that'll help. <clears throat> okay. I'm actually got, uh, got, I have more going than I thought I would, so I'm a little pleased. Okay, so let's finish this one. Oh, wait, 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 we have to do some of these. These are the wisteria leaves, and this is all I planned on doing with those. Just, boom. Let's just see what happens. That's it. I just wanted to see how much purple will still come out of there. Now, in one of the videos I said, I heard, oh, hang on, how am I gonna do that? I know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get my whole hand in there. In one of the videos that I that I watched, the lady said, um, if they're a little dry, the leaves give off more color. Now, that's just what the lady said. I don't know, you know, I don't know. But there, let's try some of those. Let's do that twice, shall we? <clears throat> just because I have a feeling that's gonna work good. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's morning. Oh, I need to go get my coffee. Oh, I need to go get my coffee. Boy, am I making a mess. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yes, I am. Let's make a mess today. And every day. All right, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> okay. I'm just dying to see what that looks like. Okay, let's fold this in half. Already did. <clears throat> Give it a good spray. With that, uh, vinegar water, which I'm just going to dump this in the pot to add to the, to add to the, um, to the mixture in the pot. Because I don't have that much vinegar. And water. All right, so let's add this little flower right here. Okay, put that in there. Put these little flowers right here. 
Aren't these gorgeous? Oh my God, they're so pretty. California poppies, you guys. I almost killed myself trying to get these, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I was, uh, I had to go up on a hill. They don't grow where they're easy to grab. So I had to race up, I raced up on this hill. My, I think people from my office were looking out the window going, what is she doing now, you know? <laughs> but, but I got them, that's all that matters. Now I know this is not the prettiest leaf, but um, I like it. I like it all scrunched up like that, why not? Why not? So we put a couple of listeria in there to see what it does with the purple. Oh, that's pretty. Let's close that up. Okay, and then I'll wipe my hands off. <clears throat> we still have lots more. Yay! Let's do some of these leaves. Okay, note to self, next time just make sure you soak everything because you, I probably forgot to dump or to add a few times, I'm sure. Let's add some of these pink flowers. Okay. I think I'm gonna actually run out of flowers before I run out of paper, which is okay. I don't have to do a marathon. Oh, I have enough. This is very relaxing. So if you haven't done this yet, go do it. I think the fun part, one of the, there's everything's fun about it. And one of the fun parts is um, gathering your foliage, you know, go on, a go on a little walk and grab some, you know, just go on a little walk and see what you can find out there. That was fun. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, let's talk about the rust bits for a minute. If you don't have any rusty bits, so I didn't think that I did. So I went, I thought, where could I go? And I thought, ooh, there's like some car places, right? Which I should have just went to my um, my wonderful mechanic, who's actually sick right now, but I hope he's getting better. Um, uh, and uh, I thought, well, why don't I just go and ask, right? So I went to this one place and the guy was really great. I was talking to a guy, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to do an art project and I just need some little rusty bits, you know, either like a, some gears or just anything like that. I would be grateful. And he's like, yeah, I think we can find you something. And all of a sudden this woman came out out of the door and she's like, we, we, we don't have any material for you. I'm like, uh, okay. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. No, we don't have anything. I'm like, well, okay then. <laughs> okay. I feel like saying, do you not like art? What's the matter? But after I thought about it, I thought, you know, she's probably, oh, here, let's just use this. She's probably being kind of smart and thinking about the liability of it. You know, like what if this woman who she does not know comes and takes a rusty bit and then goes and hurts herself with it somehow? I don't, I don't know, you know. I'm thinking, you know, she's probably looking out for the business. So I, maybe I can't fault her for that, but I thought, oh, what's the matter? Don't you like art? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a couple, one more of this kind on here, and then I'll do another folded one with these. Maybe a couple more with those, just to see what happens. What if they turn out great and I didn't finish it off? Wouldn't that be awful? So yeah, we have to do that. All right, let's stick these in there. And we'll spray, okay, we're gonna put some just some leaves on this one, because just like so. Ooh, pretty, let's just do that. Grab a couple, grab a handful of this. I wonder how long these will stay in this bag. I wonder if they'll wait for me until I move. That's pretty, right? And if anybody knows how long this rust water will, will last, please let me know. I have no idea. I hope this works, you guys. You know, as you're doing it, you're going, I hope this works. But, you know, I always say it's not the, you know, it's the journey, not the, you know, it's always the journey. So, I'm having fun. 
I hope you're having fun with me. Actually, it's kind of... Make a starburst or something out of this. Some kind of a pattern. See what happens. I like that. With a little bit of a pink in the middle, if it'll take it. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Maybe a little bit of this. Maybe a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Just to see what happens. That's pretty. Right? I need a little one. Ooh, these are pretty. So cute. Alright. Like that. Okay. And on this one, I think we can, we have two more. I just want to do, let's just do one. Well, I've got two more pieces. Let's finish them off. Let's keep this all scraggly, maybe. Without the, you know what I mean? Just keep them all scraggly. Spidery, I guess is a good word. I just don't know what this is. I really, I think it's a, some kind of a, I don't, I can never, I mean, sage and lavender is so different. How can you not tell? I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think it's a lavender because I would know sage, I think. Maybe let's just do that. Let's break it up, make it a little bit lighter. There we go. Okay. Let's do another one with just the um, wisteria again. And I have to grab a big handful of it and soak it. Soak it. Ooh, there's a nice leaf. I wonder what that leaf will do. I don't know. I hope the purple comes out. If, if not, we'll get some kind of a funky print, right, guys? And that's okay, too. You're not too thick, and that's okay. So let's just grab some of these leaves. that simple plain and simple and pretty plain and simple sometimes is best all right last one I'm only spraying it because I think it makes the paper more malleable I don't know if that means anything or matters but to me it just seemed like it made it easier you know made the plants stick on there a little bit better maybe all right what do we got in here been soaking a while. Okay. I don't want to put that dark one in there. It's just too dark. Okay, let me this. This is kind of just a wonky page. Let's leave these weird ones in here and see what happens. They're really dry. Be curious. And I think that's it for this page. You know? As I add more, whoop. They're just a real rustic looking page, in my opinion. All right, there's that. Now, did you hear those crunch, crunch, crunch? Okay, now let's move that out of the way. 
now the whole thing now is to keep this so that it holds together while you're cooking it and I don't have any um, boards rosemary had some boards which are great I do have some book book you know what why not let's see Aha. I could put this on the side yeah let's just do that I mean if they fall apart they fall apart um, yeah, I'm going to do that just to give it some stability in the water. Uh, yeah, I don't care. And then, you know, yeah, who cares? Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to wrap with some rubber bands. Let's, let's do that. I have great big rubber bands. Um, Rosemary used chicken wire, no, like a hanger, which was really cool because it actually added to the rust effect. And um, so I'm sure that really uh, helped out a lot. I think I might put a couple of the rusty bits in the pan when I cook. No, I'm gonna dump this water. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna wing it. We are gonna wing it, my friends. Let's see, do I have enough? I have enough for do it this way. I hope this is going to be tight enough. It almost doesn't feel like it is. I might put two clamps on the bottom. I don't think I can wrap these around one more time without breaking them, so I'm not even going to try. But I do think that I'll buy some um, wood bits somewhere. Oop! And you definitely need to buy... Okay, do I don't have any? Oh, there's another one. You definitely need to use towels because this is a messy, messy job. Okay. Yeah, I think I will put the clamp clamps on there. Let's see, do I need another one? How would I do this? Maybe one more. Oh, you get in there. No, no, no. You oh, it's already tearing. Okay, so you gotta be gentle. Don, be gentle. All right, I think that's good. And now I'll just put two clamps. So hold on, I'll get some clamps. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so I decided I wanna do something on rolled cotton, so I tore one of my um, dish towels in half. And as you can see, it's already starting some eco staining, so we're gonna use this. And I want to use up the rest of these leaves. I don't really have anything else to use. So we're just gonna use these leaves and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna throw some of that wisteria on there as well. Uh, I don't know if these will do very well, but we'll see what, actually I want to put it on one side. I'll show you what I'm trying to do here, guys. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you this. I want to put it on one side, like so, and then we're gonna fold it in half. I should really go outside and get some more leaves for this, but I'm really in my, I don't know if I have enough, like, dressage on. <laughs> and actually I have my sweats on, and. My hair's up. And I'm not feeling like I look the greatest right this second, even though I really don't care what the neighbors think. I'm not going to be seeing them for much longer, so that's very cool. Oh, I'll be ready to be out of here for sure. So let's dump some of this in there and get, get it soaking. Let's get that soaking. So basically, I'm just putting it on one side of the thing. I don't even know if these leaves will work, and it'll probably just be a, um, you know, but the thing is, is we're, I'm showing you the technique and we'll try it again sometime. So let's just see what happens, right? You gotta just try. You just gotta try and that's what we're doing. We're just trying. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm gonna fold this in half the long way. And again, go watch that Woodlands TV one. You're gonna love it. It was so cool. Really neat, really super cool. So I enjoyed it so much. Okay, so you fold this in half. Smush, fold it, fold it up a little bit maybe, like so. And then you take your stick. Now, I'm not a very good stick breaker maker, so you can see mine um, isn't real great because I got scared. I don't know how to break sticks without feeling like I'm gonna like, you know, break it in half and hurt myself. So, um, yeah, so then you just roll it up. I think you can see where I'm at here. Yeah, you just roll it up really tight. Oh, how am I gonna tie this? I don't have any rubber bands left. Oh, oh I have some twine. 
Okay, so we roll it up really tight. I'm gonna have to lift it up to get the tightness because this is bent. So I would go, if I'm gonna do this again, I'm gonna keep my eye out for some really nice sticks. You know what I mean? Some really good sticks. Actually, it's rolling fine down there. There we go, we're gonna roll that up like so. And now I'm gonna grab some, some spring. And I am going to use, hold on, bear with me. I've got some string here somewhere. Uh, I am just going to use, I'm trying to find some, but this will be fine. This is perfect. So you tie it around here really tight, really tight from what they did on, in the Woodlands TV one, really tight. Okay, maybe not that tight. You don't have to, you don't have to take your aggression out on it, <laughs> right? <laughs> so let's give a little knot there. We're gonna be cutting this off. <laughs> All right, and then you just string it really good, really good, and very close, closer than you'd think you'd need to, because she said. This string it just keeps the everything in while it's boiling. It keeps it all in, um, in um, you know, nice and tight to to the uh, fabric. And as well, when you're done, I think you could see some. What when she did it? I don't think that's going to happen with mine. But when she did it, you could see where the string was, and it was kind of cool. So, but for some reason, I don't really think this is going to work. If it does, I will be surprised. I will be like shockered. There we go. So how do I tie this off? <laughs> hmm. Now what do you do? Okay, so I think probably go like this. And maybe... Okay, I'm back. I can't find my clamps, so we're going to go without the clamps. But I just wanted to show you what I'm using. I'm going to be using this big pot. It's like a big tamale pot. <laughs> That wasn't pleasant. And what I'm going to do is, since I don't have a rock, I'm going to take one of these steamer baskets and I'm going to stick it upside down. And look how well that will work. I mean, this is just going to sit right on. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Are you still filming? Yeah. Right on top of that. And so that's how we're going to do it. So let me get going on the stove and we'll be right back. Sink. And again, I've got my big tamale pot and I have my strainer. And I cook, put this upside down in the pot. And then I'm going to fill it with cold water. I don't know if it has to be cold or hot. I'm using cold. And then I'm going to not so. I'm going to put my rest, some other my rusty bits in here. Not the ones. I'm not going to put my um, trump, my dangle in there because I love that and I don't want to wreck it anymore. So we'll just put those in there. Just a few little rusty bits. And then we're going to put. Um, this water because it has vinegar in it. So I don't want to waste the vinegar. And I'm not using alum. Some people use alum, but I'm not using alum. But I am going to open up the window in a minute. See if I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll put this in here. Okay, wait. Put some vinegar in here. I'm going to put about half of this in there, I guess. It's going to smell wonderful in this house, isn't it? Vinegar water. Then I'm going to put our little beautiful package in here. Get, wet, get it wet. There we go. It's already ripping on that one side because I'm a brute. I'm brutal. Okay, and then I'm just going to stick this little beautiful wrappage in here like so. And I'm just going to cover it like I'm covering a um, ham bone. I don't know, some, you know, like not just, just a little bit, like maybe a little bit over, like a finger over. Now, this is wanting to come up, so now I'm going to have to find a solution to bring it down. Um, so I might have to add like a, um, that's enough water. Oops. Um, so now I do have to go find something or a rock or a crock. Oh wait, I have something. 
I'll, let me think about this for a second, guys. Let me dry my hands. And then, um, I wonder if this will work. It's got, it's even got, that'll work, that's fine. Perfect. And I, I don't think it'll break. This is made in Italy and it's, it's really strong glass, so. There we go. You know me, if anything's made in Italy, I gotta have it. So I think that's good because it, it's submerged. So that's good. Then we're gonna put the big tamale pot lid on there and then I'm gonna stick it on the stove and I'm going to boil it, bring it to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down and simmer it. I'll probably go like so. I have the window open. Um, but because of all the rust and stuff, you just don't know what's going on. And also the toxins from the plants, who knows? You know, they, uh, you never know. So oof, look at that. Something got dyed and it was my fingers. So that's interesting. So we're going to get something out of this. I don't know what. So, okay, I'll be right back. Or I'll see you in a little bit and we will um, have our results, I think. Guys, as you can see, it's done cooking. And as you can see, the rubber bands were a fail. They all popped off. But the package itself held together really good. And this looks pretty, pretty cool. Looks like there's going to be some printage in there. So I'm just going to let it sit here for a while. And, um, um, and then for another like five minutes. And then I'm going to pull it out and just let it cool off and we'll be back. Okay, I pulled it out of the pot. It's still steaming as you can probably see. And when I pulled these off, they were blue. So they left like a blue dye. I should have flipped them over and put the blue on the inside, right? That would have been kind of cool. But uh, I'm letting them cool now for a while. And then as soon as they get easy to touch, we will try to um, open them up and see what kind of a mess we made. Hey, okay. hi guys, I'm back. Um, I think it's pretty cooled off and I'm just going to start with the um, rolled cotton. Um, I, what I did was when I pulled it out of the pot, I put it on this little tray thing and um, I think maybe one of the, one of the um, tricks to this is not to touch it too much, not to overwork it. Um, because I'm telling myself that because I tend to be that person who, uh, I'm a Brutus. I'm actually kind of a Brutus. So let's go ahead and cut this string off. Um, I'm kind of happy with the fact that I kind of used what I had today. I didn't, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't, you know, go um, buy twine or buy a, um, you know, a thing to to dye. I actually cut up a, uh, <laughs> oh, see how that is? I don't know if you can see it. I, I actually didn't buy it, you know, cotton to cut up or anything or to use. So, um, yeah, I just kind of used what I had. And I'm going to try to do that a lot because... Um, yeah, I just think it's a really good idea to try to just use what you got in every aspect, like like cooking and, um, you know, your outfits and, yeah, don't go out and buy new all the time. I just, I'm not one of those people. I used to be, I used to be, oh my gosh, did I ever. This is going to fall and make a really loud noise and I'm going to apologize in advance. So let's pull this off of here. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Um, where's the beginning? Where is that? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see what's going on right there. Okay, good. We're going to open it up on the... Can you see? Yeah. Okay. So, ooh. Ooh, you know, it smells to me, you know what this, um, it is, it smells like, um, artichokes. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. Wow. Okay. Did we get any major prints? Oh, uh, I don't think these leaves died very well, but I think we got some prints. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty. I think when it dries, it'll be prettier. I actually liked what the twine did the best. Oh, there's some leaf. You can kind of see the leaf. I think that's great. Yeah. You can kind of see where the leaf died in through there. You know? So, I mean, that's kind of cool looking. I like it. So, let's not make a big mess here. 
So I'm not, I'm not hating this. Now I would definitely use um, some different leaves next time. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, oh, you don't need to see all that nonsense. Okay, so there we go. Um, so I'm just gonna hang this up. I'm not gonna rinse it or anything, but I just think it's pretty cool and I'll probably use it in a junk journal or something to add a little something extra. I think it's pretty cool looking, don't you? And again, I think what I would do is use, um, I mean, you can definitely see where the leaves are. Let me hold that up so you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, where that leaf is. See that? So there's some print on there, and it's okay. Uh, I like it. I would definitely try it with um, other, other, um, that's pretty cool looking actually though. You could like do your own scarves and everything with this. Oh, where'd you get your scarf? Oh, I, I eco dyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this over here for now. And then we're going to, actually I'm gonna hang it on the stove. Hold on guys. I'm gonna hang on the stove and dry. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, so then that got dyed dark, didn't it? Wow. Wow, wowzer. Okay, so this is probably gonna make a big mess. All right, so let's go back over to here. And let's try to unwrap this very carefully. One layer at a time. That's pretty. It's really pretty. Now it's a very green. I don't know if my lighting, my lighting is not so good, guys. And for that, I apologize. And I don't know how much better it's going to get when we move, but we'll see. But yeah, oh, that's pretty. See how these oleanders did. They did well. They did really nicely. Can you see that? Am I in the frame? Let's see. Let's see. Let me go down a little bit. There we go. Did these this ones didn't do anything. These were the dark ones. These sure did. Ooh. I love this. That's just really pretty. This was my first time. And so I didn't expect, you know, beautiful uh, prints right out the gate. And I'm not going to wash these because I know that I will tear them up. So I'm just going to lay them out. Oh, that's nice, though. Isn't that pretty? So we got some good prints. I'm just going to lay them out over here. Um, because with me, uh, less is more. Oh, I see. I just ripped that already. Mm hmm Yeah. So... And then I can just brush brush them off later. So, can you see, guys? Yeah. So, wow, that's a print. That's not a leaf, that's a print. Wow. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything from the hibiscus, or not the hibiscus, but the, um, what do you call it? This. Oh, yeah, I guess I can. It just kind of made... It looks like a hydrangea, right? Yeah, that just looks like hydrangea. That's pretty. Okay, I like that. I mean, it's it's interesting. I don't love it, but it is interesting. So we're just gonna let this go over here and dry as well. It's very green, so I'm wondering how could we, <laughs> not only does it smell like, uh, oh, that's pretty. Not only does it smell like artichoke, but it looks like artichoke. <laughs> so let's open this up without ripping it if we can. Here we go. Ooh, this one might be nice. Now that's a pretty print, a little starbursty. I like that. This one turned out pretty nice. Okay. That's pretty, right? That's an interesting print. So, that's nice. I love that. Can you see? Here. There we go. So, let's just push this over here and let that dry. I made an awful lot, didn't I? But That's pretty. It's got a little bit of blue in it. A little bit. Not a lot. Wipe this off here. I love the, the leaves. The leaves did turn out nice, some of the leaves. Okay, let's open this up. The big reveal. Ooh, that's pretty. 
So yeah, not bad for a first timer. Oh, I love that. These turned out pretty cute. Let's see, how did those do? Mm -hmm. Not so much. Not so much, but that's okay. Ugh, that's slimy. That didn't feel good at all. Ooh, that did not feel good. Those are pretty. I think they'll be prettier when they dry. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this one. This is just a lot, to, you know. But I like I like it. I'm not. I don't know if I would do that again, but it's okay. Now, what did this do? This is the. This is the oleander. The oleander leaves did pretty well. Look at that. That's actually really pretty. I like that. Do you see that one? So this was fun for a first time. Those off. Oh, look at that. And I just. Oh, the poppies didn't do so good, you guys. The poppies were kind of a fail. That's pretty. But that's okay. Oh, I like that print. Very pretty. I'm not going to turn it over again. Because I don't want it to. To. Uh... Wow. Let's just get. The... I just ripped that. I just ripped that. Oh, I think that's what it smells like. Oh. Uh... These are pretty. I like what the uh, white oleander leaves did. I think those are good prints. I'll remember the white oleanders are good ones. And that the, uh, the, uh, this one right here, what was that? Help me out here, you guys. Wisteria didn't do so well, but it looks kind of pretty. All right, I'm running out of room. Oop, I just ripped that. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, I love this page. These are some nice prints. And I think they'll be beautiful when they dry. So they'll be dry by tomorrow. I can, I'll can, i share them on Facebook or something. This is pretty. That's cute. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's a real pretty one. Look at the back. It's gorgeous. Let's see, is there anything back here? Yep, and some more. That's pretty too. That's actually really cute. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up without tearing it any more than I already have. Okay, I need to open up another towel. Excuse me for a second, guys. Let's open up another towel over here. Um, I wonder if I should just put it on top for now. Yeah, then I'll just pick it up later. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how some people were actually rinsing these off. Oh, I'd make them. Oh, look at that. That turned out pretty. So the oleander, there's no color on here. Absolutely no color at all. There's some blue here. That's cute. There is some blue there. Oh, the poppies just didn't pop. These poppies just didn't pop, but they left pretty marks. So that's okay. The poppies didn't pop, but they definitely left some pretty marks. So I'll just leave that there. We'll pick this one up. I like these. Whatever these were. What were these? I think those are those sage. Those look... Look at that. That's my favorite so far. That's beautiful. I'll go get some more of that. Yeah, I love that. And we got some good leaf prints. But I'm definitely going to go maybe buy some more... Get some more of those or try to remember that when I'm printing next time. Ooh, the leaves turned out really pretty. Aren't, isn't this pretty? So these are gorgeous. This is a nice one. Okay, this is my favorite though right here. Oh my word, that is my favorite. That turned out really nice. For a first time. It's not perfect. And that's okay. But boy, this sink is full of, full up here. Is that the last one, I hope? Yes, it is. Now some people rinse them, and again, I can't because as you can see, I'm already Brutus. So, oh look at that. I'm laying it on there, I had a feeling that would happen. Oh, and this came from the book. That was on the other side. Okay, and that was already ripped. So let's work with that side. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my word, look at the beautiful color on this side. Now this is gorgeous too. This is probably a favorite page right here. 
That's really pretty. I hope you can see that, guys. Yeah. So the closer to the outside, it seemed like the better the, you know, and I've noticed that on other people's as well, that the closer to the outside, the better the, this should be turned over, but I'm not. Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. Okay, so that should do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very difficult video for me to put together, so if it seemed a little um, not good, I apologize. I hope that the gist of it was there for you, but uh, I'm having some technical difficulties this weekend, and I've been working on it for a couple of days, and I just need to button it up, and hopefully I'll have something to put up today that will actually... Um, upload. It has been one of those weekends. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to do it again, not for a long time, not until I get settled and not until um, I have some better technology to do uh, it with. So thanks again for watching you guys. You take care. I'll talk to you soon. The, Bye guys. This should be turned over, but I'm not going to because again, I don't want to. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So there we go. I just ripped off a corner of that. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. I'll be back guys.